Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I want to talk to you about ordering parts, parts list, where I get them, and things like that. Uh, I, this is probably the number one question I get almost on a daily basis, guys, and that is, Chris, where do you get your parts? Um, and how do you go about ordering your parts? How do you know what to order? Things like that. Um, so I've done a video on this before in the past, where I get my parts from and doing parts lists and trying to organize yourself, but I'll quickly run through this uh, once again. Um, and that is what you see here um, is a 1957 oval window uh, rack top beetle that we are putting together as part of our build -a -bug program for one of our clients. And so I'm putting a parts list together. And basically it's not rocket science. Uh, you know, you want to start off with, we always do body off restorations on our cars. So when we get the cars back from paint, what we like to do is then take the shell off the chassis, which is what we're gonna be doing with this fella. And the shell will be up off the chassis. So I will work on getting a parts list together for the chassis first because we have to assemble the brakes, the shocks, brake lines, soft lines, things like that. Um, master cylinders, wheel cylinders, backing plates, brake shoes, all that stuff you want to do while the shell is off the chassis because it just makes life a lot easier. Now I have, I have videos on this uh, uh, in, in my YouTube channel. So once the chassis parts are ordered, I separate things. And like I said, it's really not rocket science. I mean, I really just get a pad and pencil or just a piece of paper and a pen. And nothing high tech here, uh, nothing too, uh, too difficult to, to understand. And uh, I just kind of do it old school where I'll have a sheet of paper, like uh, this is the exterior uh, pad. So just for exterior parts. Okay, so literally you're just gonna go around the car and start pinpointing and making a list of what we need, say the chrome moldings, you're going to need bumper brackets, you need headlight buckets maybe, you're going to need fender beads, uh, the, the hardware for the fenders to mount to the body, I like to get all new hardware, all new German fender beads, um, so you got two holes here on the side, so you need antenna, you're going to need running boards, um, you're going to need uh, hood seals, things like that. Just go and keep walking around the car and making a list of what you need. Sometimes I forget and sometimes, you know, I'll, I'll place the order and I forgot one, one part. Oh, damn, I forgot the one part. So now I got to lump that in with something else. So a lot of times I'll make the parts list. And uh, if it's towards the end of the day, I'll just say, you know what? Let me sleep on it. I'm sure tomorrow morning I'm going to think of something else that I forgot that I need to add to that list. You know, you got to factor in also outside door handles, door seals. You're going to do the scrapers. Things like that, um, window seals, or you're going to go with pop-out windows. So I kind of just concentrate on one section at a time, and it's okay to order those pieces in in category. You know, so chassis parts I'll order one day, okay. And I usually order from either CIP1.com or Wolfsburg West. Those are my two main sources I go to for my parts. CIP1.com is great because it has free shipping. So when you go uh, place an order with them. Anything I think over a hundred bucks is always free shipping. So I do a lump order. So it's not going to cost me extra if I have to do another order uh, uh, another day, uh, just because I'm always going to clear that hundred dollar mark. Uh, so we'll work on the chassis first, and I'll get all the chassis parts in, and all those boxes will come in when they're shipped in, just of chassis stuff. So okay, now you can separate that, and that's categorically, you know, it just makes things easier to work on. All right, so. Um, that's basically it, guys. I mean, uh, you know, walk around the car, and like, like I said, Pope's nose seal, deck lid seals, maybe you need a T-handle or the, the push button for your deck lid. Just walk around the car and just take your time. There is no rush here to do this, okay? And I try to order from one source, like I said. Now, I've been around the bush enough, you know, to uh, when I restore these cars, so I know where I, what, which stores have the best parts. You know, for instance, bumpers. I'm always getting my bumpers from Wolfsburg West. I'm not getting them from anywhere else because anywhere else that I've tried before, they're just not the greatest. I also get my running boards from Wolfsburg West as well. Anywhere else I get running boards, they just do not seem to be in the same quality. So when I go back to my pad here, I'm going to separate where I get what part from. Most of these parts I'm going to probably get from CIP1.com, but when it comes to 
you know, certain things, maybe like outside mirrors, or like I said, bumpers, bumper brackets, the bumper spacers, things like that. I'm going to separate that lump for Wolfsburg West, and then the rest will be SIP1 or something like that. So I know it's not rocket science. I mean, uh, people thought there was, a, there was an art to all this, but there's really not. I've just done so many of these cars that, uh, you know, we, I know what steps to take. And, uh, you know, I've made my mistakes. I've made my errors, and that's what you have to do. Um, so if this is your first project, uh, just take your time. Do your homework. There's a ton of videos online. And then uh, refresh yourself. T sleep on it. And, you know, the next day you're going to have a, a refreshed mind and you'll be able to figure more things out. So, and it's okay to just make mistakes. But I try to keep it simple by just only using a couple places. If there's hard to find parts that we cannot get, uh, then you might start sourcing things on the Samba or eBay even, where there's a lot of vintage stuff that's out there. Um, I sometimes even go uh, look to Europe if I need a, a hard to find part. There seems to be uh, a couple of parts that are only available in Europe. So uh, again, look on eBay, uh, look on the Samba, there's, there's definitely people out there. So, and then once I figure out my list for the exterior, okay, I'll run through the list again and just make sure. All right, because then I like to assemble the outside. I like to put the fender beads on and all that stuff. Also, wiring harness. That's also a great time to do this before everything else is on the car. Um, I add my wiring harness to uh, first assembly uh, sections. So, but once you have most of your exterior stuff applied and you got to all your seals and things like that on the exterior, then it's, start, then it's time to work on the interior. Now, you might want to think about do, you know, getting that interior list out first, just because when you order an interior, whether you order it through Wolfsburg West, or not, maybe not Wolfsburg West, but like say uh, J-Bugs, or you order through uh, SoFine, or Lenny at West Coast Classics, which is the areas that I like to get uh, my interiors, my, the shops, it sometimes takes six weeks to get the material in. So you got to get that list together and probably do that maybe first. Uh, so you have a, you know, that's on, its, uh, on the running and it's coming in. Uh, meanwhile, then you can order the other parts, which usually takes about a week to get in. So you can start working on that stuff, the exterior accessories and things, while the interior is on its way. So, but again, just section things off. So basically I do the chassis parts, sectioned off okay I order that at one day then another day I'll do exterior and then I'll do another order for interior so three big orders I'm doing and that's basically it um, I don't lump them all together because I don't like them all coming in at the same time I'm a clutter freak and I like things organized so those boxes will have all exterior parts together all interior parts together and all chassis parts together I don't like when chassis parts are mixed in with exterior and interior and then I have to spend time separating them when it comes time to as assemble the bug. So you want to just be organized and have things laid out and labeled. So I know this is a long winded uh, video, I just wanted to throw this out there and some people are just asking me how I go about ordering parts, where I get them from and how I organized uh, uh, the process of putting the car together. Uh, that's basically it, this is how we do it. So. If you guys have any questions, you know where to find me, chris at classicvwbugs.com or visit my website, www.classicvwbugs.com. Be good. Hey guys, just another friendly reminder that we will be hosting our second annual New York Air Cooled Vintage Treffen Sunday, September 30th, 2018 in Haverstraw, New York at Bowline Park. It is one Bowline Plant Road in Haverstraw, New York, if you do a Google search. I have information in, in the description below, a link uh, that goes to my website to give you more info about the air-cooled dub scene at the New York Vintage Treffen. It is a beautiful location, guys. I hope to see you there. Take care.